everyone. Welcome back inside Centura Health Training Center for another episode of Broncos Now. As always, I'm your host, Sydney Jones. And coming up on today's episode, the Broncos held their 11th training camp practice today. We'll hear from head coach Sean Payton as the team continues to prepare for their first preseason game this Friday. Plus, defensive end Zach Allen details his camp so far. All that and more coming up. The Broncos were back at practice today following their off day for the 11th day of training camp practice. Head coach Sean Payton said the team got a lot of situational work done today. You know, third down period, red zone period, kind of off to the sidelines, uh, utilizing the, the helmet communication with both defense and offense. With the Broncos first preseason game just four days away, Sean Payton talked about what he'll be looking for on Friday in Arizona and what he wants the team's focus to be. This week, I'm going to cover the sideline. I'm going to cover the roles and how we're going to play guys, you know, what we're looking for during the game. Um, you know, it's their first game, if you will, with this staff and me. And so there's a, there's a lot to cover relative to everything from when we're traveling, dress, meeting schedule, locker room, all of that. And then... I think more specifically to your question, you, you know, you want to see, hopefully you want to see guys that are, that are playing full speed and they know what to do and, and, you know, you're able to evaluate them versus a different scheme. You know, we've been seeing the same offense or defense, so now we see a different opponent. Um, hopefully mental errors are reduced and, you know, it's a game always with mistakes, so I keep talking to him about getting on to the next play. That's important. Head coach Sean Payton did say that starters will play around 15 to 18 snaps on Friday versus the Cardinals. We also heard from defensive end Zach Allen as he discussed playing in the preseason and how camps have been for him so far. Yeah, it'd be nice to just, you know, get some game action. Um, you know, I think they're really helpful. And, uh, yeah, excited to go back to Arizona, see some uh, old familiar faces. So it'll be fun. It's been good. Um, definitely, you know, still cleaning some things up. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, this is the time where you kind of just try new things. Um, so seeing what works, what doesn't work. And luckily, we have a really good offensive line so to test those things out. So if it works against them, you know it's credible. And if it doesn't, then, um, you know, they're really good about talking about kind of what they're seeing and why it does or doesn't work. Sean Payne also talked about Zach Allen and what he brings to practice every single day. You know, down in, down out. Um, you know, in, in really, really consistent. Um, it, takes, it takes a lot of energy, especially when you're playing inside to, to play that way, you, you know. Um, and so he's got real good stamina. I've been, I've been really pleased with him. And Alan said that's just how he was raised. And kind of the way that I was taught to play the game. Um, you know, I had a lot of old school Italian coaches growing up, so um, no, I'm very fortunate for the coaches I did have and uh, the way they, they coached me. And even in the NFL, I've had a lot of great coaches. So, um, yeah, I think it's just it's the way the game is meant to be played and, you know, just trying to do that. Now joining me here inside the Broncos podcast studio is Broncos lead writer Eric Delala. Eric, team's coming off an off day yesterday, as are we. Did you have a nice day off? Good weekend? I did, I did Sid. What about you? Good. Yeah. Good, nice one day off. That's perfect. That's right, back at it. Back, back to work. Back at it, yep. Team is back out on the field today for the 11th practice of training camp. Eric, I know, you know, it was closed practice today, so fans weren't allowed to be in there. So we can't talk in depth about practice, but what do you think overall about the team's work? Yeah, I mean, I thought Russell Wilson looks good again. Um, he obviously, I think, had one of his better days uh, Saturday. You kind of feel like maybe he's starting to – to get it a little bit and that mm -hmm. things are, you know, stacking days, having some good practices in a row. Broncos worked a lot on their passing game on this Monday and, and Russ was sharp. There were some good plays and so not everything's perfect, obviously, but right. I thought in general, they had a nice day there. Um, worked on a lot of situational stuff, red zone, third down, mm -hmm. Sean Payton mentioned they introduced a play clock today so that the, the team could kind of get a feel for what that's like and get up to the line of scrimmage more quickly. So um, it, not a fully padded practice, but mm -hmm. thought there were still you know, a good tempo, good pace to it, good work. Um, and then they'll be back out there again on, uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, a nice transition practice, as head coach Sean Payton called it, yes. from their off day to full pads tomorrow. Eric, uh, a lot of conversation tape was around the preseason and, you know, with the Broncos' first preseason game being this Friday in Arizona versus the Cardinals. I know head coach 
Sean Payton mentioned that starters might play about, you know, 15 to 18 snaps around there. Yeah. Um, and he said it's less about, you know, how long from a time perspective right. or a series perspective it's about those plays. So, you know, you hope the offense comes out and has a nice long 10, mm -hmm. 12 play drive. And then maybe they go out there for one more. Maybe if you see enough in a, in a drive like that, they're done. Um, for the defense, you know, if, if they force three and outs, you're hopeful that um, they get several series out right. of that work. So uh, we'll see kind of how much those guys play. But, of course, a lot of them didn't play at all last year. So that's al already right. a shift uh, in mindset, uh, in preparation that I think will be good mm -hmm. for this team. And then you talk about all the other things that go along with the preseason. It's a, it's a chance to practice the travel, the pregame stretch, what the right. locker room setup is going to look like. Um, and then exactly all those sorts of things. Who's who's going to be up in the box versus right. down on the field from a coaching staff perspective. You mm -hmm. kind of work through all of those sorts of things. And then Sean Payton mentioned, hey, I want to make sure that guys we don't have, uh, you know, mental errors. Guys are playing hard, physical, uh, that sort of thing in terms of the, the do's and then the don'ts. You're not going to see some things that you've seen in the past or some things that, that plenty of teams do right. in terms of taking your uniform off, um, kind of hanging mm -hmm. out, wearing sunglasses. It's clear he wants guys locked in and engaged on what this team is doing. It Love doesn't it. matter if you're the starter or mm -hmm. you're the guy who gets in at the end of the fourth quarter for a few snaps. He wants everybody dialed in to treat it like a regular season game. Right. I love that. I think that's great and something this neat team probably needs for sure. Yeah, it's a level of focus, a level of accountability. I think it fits yeah. in with everything he's been trying to build here. Definitely. And Eric, we mentioned, you know, the next couple of days of practice, the team flies out to Arizona Thursday night. So they'll also have practice on Thursday morning. And head coach Sean Payton said that that day is going to be like a game day. They're going to do everything to kind of simulate what a game would look like. Yeah, exactly. He said even from where they come out mm -hmm. of the building for practice and then head to the opposite sideline, they're going to treat it like it will be in Arizona um, because it doesn't matter if you're a vet or a, a rookie doing this for the very first time. It's the first time a lot of these guys are doing it with Sean Payton and with this coaching staff. Right. And so there's always going to be differences in terms of how they handle things. That's a little bit of a run through. And again, it just shows you the attention to detail that Sean Payton has for some of these things that mm -hmm. nothing is kind of just left up to, oh, whatever happens, happens. They're going to make sure that everything is ironed out exactly the way they want it to right. run. Um, and, you know, hopefully when you take care of those details, it, it improves your chances of winning down the road. Yeah, definitely. Eric, we saw safety Justin Simmons kind of on the side field today. Sean Payton reported that he has a groin injury and they're going to be smart with him. Um, kind of watch over that, monitor that. Since, you know, he's been out, what have you seen from some of the other young safeties kind of stepping in? Yeah, well, I mean, with Justin, just tweaked it. It doesn't sound like there's a huge right. cause for concern, but he has missed the last two practices. Um, we'll have to just kind of monitor that. I would mm -hmm. imagine there was no official word, but it doesn't seem like they would rush him back for a preseason game, obviously. Right. So we'll have to see if he's mm -hmm. out there. Um, I would assume they're going to be safe with him. But, yeah, the young guys, I mean, it gives Caden Stearns a chance yeah. to work with Kareem Jackson. Um, it gives P.J. Locke some reps. Obviously, you've got... Uh, some other younger guys in Delarian Turner Yell, um, uh, JL, JL Skinner. Skinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, said it's been a long day out of practice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, JL Skinner, I think, has been impressive at times. So it gives these guys an opportunity right. uh, to work out there. And listen, it's a different team when Justin Simmons isn't out there. We know how valuable he is. He's a playmaker. Yeah. Um, and just hearing Sean Payton talk about his football intelligence in terms of where to be, helping other guys know where to be, mm -hmm. you miss that while he's out there. But, you know, knock on wood that he's back soon. And, um, sure. Because they need him. Yeah. You know, it seems like people, a lot of people have been impressed with uh, rookie J.L. Skinner. He's a really big dude. It's surprising yeah, he, to see him out there. He's uh, he's not built like any other safeties. Yeah. He's tall. Um, mm -hmm. and But he moves really well. And, I've, you know, I've seen him come downhill a couple of times right. to make a play near the line of scrimmage. Physical guy. I mean, you wonder if there's, you know, special ways they can use him because of his size. If that's certainly... You'd think he has the length to cover a tight end. Um, right. So we'll be interesting to see how he plays. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's one of the guys, along with a, a Drew Sanders or Marvin Mims, it's going to be your first time seeing these guys in action uh, when the Broncos play Arizona on Friday. But, yeah, Skinner's one of the guys that uh, certainly we'll have our eye on. Definitely. And uh, another rookie that was asked about today was wide receiver Taylor Grimes. Seems like he's been a standout as well the past you know several practices. What have you liked about him? Yeah, I mean, he's got that shiftiness. Um, mm -hmm. I do think the preseason games are, are big, right? Definitely. It's one thing to do yeah. it in practice. It's another mm -hmm. thing to do it in the game. Um, right. And I just, you know, let's see kind of how he – 
how he plays and if he's able to create some of these moments. Um, you know, you, you may not get as many opportunities in a preseason game that you would out in, at practice, but he certainly made the most of those reps out here. And um, he's a guy that, you know, maybe he's able to, to make a name for himself. It's a, a crowded wide receiver room, right? Yes, it and is. So yep. um, a tough path to the roster, mm-hmm. you'd assume. But, hey, listen, Sean Payton talked about it in terms of undrafted guys. Some guys take a year or two to develop. Right. Maybe there's a vision where he can contribute the following year. And, and that's not to take away from uh, the potential that he could, you know, have a great preseason and then try to steal a roster spot of his own. But right. um, there's no shame either in kind of being a practice squad guy mm-hmm. that works your Developing. way up gets an, uh, a shot at it. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how he does. I mean, there's mm-hmm. several guys, right, that have made, like Montreal Washington's made some plays. Right. Um, Brandon Johnson, again and again, mm-hmm. has made plays. And then you talk about kind of the the big grouping of guys at the top in, in Jerry and Cortland and you know even uh, Marvin Mims a little bit now. So uh, we'll have to see how it all plays out. But certainly, if you're Taylor Grimes, this is like any other undrafted guy, all you can ask for, an opportunity to, uh, to go out there against another team and, and put uh, – film out there for everybody to see whether it's Absolutely. the Broncos or one of the other 31 teams. Yep, for sure. And it, like you mentioned, it'll be interesting to see how that room plays out Yes, at for the sure. end of training camp or preseason here. Well, another practice tomorrow. Eric, we'll be right back in here. Appreciate you coming on. You got it, Sid. That'll do it for today's episode of Broncos Now, Broncos Country. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be right back here in the Broncos podcast studio tomorrow for another episode. I'll see you all then.